All right, guys, how you doing? It's Rubia. I hope you're all good. So this video is brought to you in association with the dudes of Boss, who need no introduction. They've been a mainstay in the guitar effects world for decades now, bringing out all sorts of awesome pedals and products for you guys. Uh, and this is no exception. So hopefully this video comes out on the 4th of October, and I'm gonna be one of the first people to check out the brand new Boss DC2W Dimension, which is a Wazacraft pedal built in Japan, and essentially what it does, to the untrained ear, I guess, it sounds a little bit like a chorus. However, it's not to be sort of pigeonholed with a chorus effect. Uh, a chorus uses a phase circuit that sort of oscillates between a dry and a wet, and it creates a sort of chorusy kind of more than just one signal sound. Whereas the dimension uses two swinging waves that sort of crossfade between each other randomly to create more space, more depth, more like a 3D kind of sound. Um, and the pedal layout is really straightforward. If you can see on the close-up cam, we've got, essentially, you've got your big on and off switch and your sort of standard uh, boss stomp box footprint. And then we've just got four little buttons here. And those essentially add bigger, deeper rates and basically going from one to four increases intensity. Uh, but then we've also got a little switch that moves between the dimension effect and then it, you can switch over to the SD320, which is an iconic rack chorus processor uh, that Boss brought out way back in the day, shortly after they launched as a brand. So, and I know for a fact they were used by guys like Steve Ray Vaughan in the studio. Um, they really are an iconic piece of kit. So it's really cool that they've sort of tried to recreate that in pedal format. So obviously certain things had to be sacrificed in terms of like analog circuitry. For the most part is it the case in the pedal, but some elements had to be removed basically due to um, over time deterioration and rust and things like that. Apparently it's not the wisest thing to include certain elements of that circuit in a box like this. So you shouldn't really hear much difference from the originals, but that is one of the things that Boss said we've had to try and do in this pedal. In any case, what it basically does is widen the sound, give you a big, thick, dreamy kind of soundscape. Uh, it is a stereo pedal, so you can hook this up to two amplifiers and get a really, really wide sound. It's not to be mistaken with a stereo doubler because that is a sample delay that is very, very m mild delay that sort of doubles up a sound, might change the pitch a bit. Whereas this, as I said, it's swinging waves that creates a very big, wide, sort of intense, dreamy, three-dimensional type of sound. I'm gonna be using my Fender Strat, running into the VX Kraken on a low gain, going into the two notes to Peter Studio, captured with the Universal Audio Apollo 8P interface. Let's see what it sounds like. Okay, so I've got the guitar hooked up, going straight in. Any reverb that you do here, I've added in post uh, using a Lexicon 224 UAD plugin. So this is the sound of the guitar straight in. So that's the sound of the guitar, sounding great. Uh, we're gonna start on the lowest level of intensity on mode one, on the dimension side, and let's just switch it in and see what happens. So this is without. So even though I know it's not like a chorusy kind of effect, it does have that vibe about it. And I think, to be fair, when you when you're sort of creating different oscillations in any kind of phasey or any kind of way like that, it is going to create that sound. But it does sound different. And what is interesting is there are certain points where the oscillations either meet or or the opposite, and suddenly it feels almost like a thick dry signal with no effect, and then it just comes back in again. It's a it's a nice effect. I really do like, it feels nice to play. 
Uh, again, I've never tried a pedal like this before, so this is a first for me, but it's got a really sort of analog vibe to it. Anyway, let's move on to uh, mode number two. <laughs> effect does get a little bit deeper a bit thicker the the my initial thought of it is just that it's a very sort of thick warm sound <laughs> let's move on to mode number three Feels like an expensive sort of chorus effect really <laughs> to be perfectly honest with you that, that's how it sounds to me but I think what I enjoy about it is chorus for me sometimes sounds a bit sterile I mean it depends entirely on the chorus like the CE1 what a beast but that is a really old school pedal and I think somehow back in the day when there was less components maybe available things were a bit easy to just go yeah that'll do that sounds great Whereas now everyone's so like, oh, we need to find the right this, that, and the other. This doesn't sound sterile to me, like in, in a way a chorus sometimes can do. Uh, anyway, let's move on to mode number four. <laughs> So like on the middle position on the Strat, it's giving me Stevie Ray vibes. I mean, I cannot play like Stevie Ray Vaughan could, but you know, with the middle position, middle pickup on the Strat, it's got that vibe about it, totally. That kind of... I don't know, there's something about it that just it, it immediately feels familiar, like I've heard that before, you know, that specific sound. 
So that's the four modes of the sort of dimension side. So what I'm going to do is go back to mode one and then I'm going to switch it over to the SD320 and that will sort of load up the the sort of the, the original chorus circuit. Um, so let me just go ahead and ring out a note and then we'll swap over and you should be able to hear the difference. So. It's a really good sound. It's inspiring. Like, just makes me feel like I want to play and write some stuff. Definitely a nice sound. So let's move on to mode two. really thick there's tons there's just tons of vibe and tons of space space being a word that I don't know and that's the one that's resonating when I'm playing I'm going yeah it sounds just wide and it does sound three-dimensional that's a good way to describe it I suppose but yeah there's just a lot of space and there's a lot of air in the sound um, and it's unobtrusive you know it's not the kind of effect where you know, there's no blend control on it there's no like oh I want less of that because it's a bit too interfering like it's I don't know. Even though you've got modes one through four, which go up in intensity, it doesn't ever feel like it's like over over the top of your dry signal. It's just kind of, it sounds really analog, really nice, really expensive. Um, yeah, I'm digging it. Really am. So um, let's move on to the final mode of SD320. <laughs> Thank you. 
So there's a quick look at modes one through four on both the Dimension and then the SD320. I mean, as I said before, this is one of those things that even in a mono signal, which is what it's currently in and what you're hearing is mono, um, as in one guitar signal, it still sounds really wide and stereo-y and like there's just bouncing around, there's lots of air in it, as I said. So I just have to interrupt this video for one second. As you may notice, I'm wearing completely different clothes and it's different camera angle. That is because I flew out to Japan to meet the dudes at Boss in the factory and see how all these pedals are made. I'll be making a vlog about that, which will be on this channel in due course. But in what happened there was that I found out about an extra function this pedal does that I didn't know when I shot the demo. So I thought there's no way I can put out this video without showing this feature. So this is what this segment is about. So you might have noticed on the close-up cam, I'm running the Dimension in stereo now. So my guitar goes into a hum eliminator, then we go out into the Dimension, and then one side goes to the Kraken, one side goes to uh, the Kemper on a V40 profile that I made. And uh, this is how it sounds straight in. Really, really, really nice sound. But back to the pedal, what I'm able to show you now is, well, firstly, this is how it sounds in stereo. So as you can hear there, you can hear the moving waves sort of coming in and out of each other, which sounds really, really awesome in stereo. But this is the bit that I forgot to mention. Back in the day of like rat gear and analog rat gear and stuff, it was often uh, a lot of fun to experiment with settings and see what happens. Uh, one of the most common cases of this was an 1176 compressor by Universal Audio, which you might have seen. Uh, and what they found is that you can actually push more than one button in if you kind of half pushed in each button and it created a very different sound. And it became a, a feature of a lot of na you know, modern plugins that you can actually have a setting which is all modes or just two of those modes. So what Boss have done here with the uh, dimension is you can actually press and operate two buttons at the same time. So you can, rather than it just being the one uh, type of intensity, particularly on the um, dimension side, uh, you can actually have one and two or one and three and one and four by simply just jumping between them and having them both pressed at the same time and it gives you a completely different sound. Case in point, this is mode one. This is mode four. And this is mode one and four. Try two and three together. Well, this is two. This is three. And then two and three together. It's a wicked effect, the dimension effect, because it really doesn't feel very chorusy. Um, it's just wide, and especially now having it in stereo, you can hear the width is really there. Sounds wicked. Um, if I jump over to the SDD320, this is where it's interesting because obviously that was a rack unit uh, chorus that was really popular back in the day. Um, but then having the function of being able to, that was the rack they found you could do it as well as in 11 and 76. You could push in more than one mode. So case in point again, this is mode one on the demo, on the uh, SDD320. <laughs> And then mode four. And then modes one and four. One and 
three. So let's try modes three and four. Oh, that's a thick chorusy tone. So there you go, there's a quick look at the extra mode in the Dimension. Um, yeah, the fact that you can blend two modes together is really cool, and it's nice that they kept that from the sort of original ethos of, you know, old school gear, which was finding the little nooks and crannies in the gear to get extra cool sounds out of it that you couldn't get maybe intentionally from the original design. So that's it's really nice that they've thrown that in there. Um, so yeah, there you go. I want to try um, put a bit of gain on it and just cream it up a bit and try and get a little bit of a nice sort of leadish tone. So I'm just going to add a couple of playing clips here, uh, see what we can get out of it. So there's a look at the DC2 Wazacraft pedal from Boss. So I know the original was sold in the mid to late 80s, I believe, and uh, that was a DC2. Uh, so if anyone actually has an original one of those, put it in the comment section below. I'd, li I'd like to know if it sounds the same. Uh, but of course, when Boss sort of revamp an old effect like that, they'll add other stuff. The fact you've got the SDD320 in there is really cool. As I said, that was a 19 inch rack system back in the day and the fact they've bunged it in a pedal is just testament to boss just being able to do whatever they choose to do do whatever they want to do um as far as i'm concerned this kind of effect is something that i've used sparingly on recordings and live to be fair it's not it's not an effect that i've immediately gone that's what i want to use for a sound however when i've stumbled across effects similar to this in the past i really enjoyed playing with them and i found them quite inspirational that's something about, that I really like the Dimension side of this pedal. Of course I like the SDD320 chorus, but for me the Dimension is more warmth, the, it's a little less intrusive, um, and again that's what it's kind of meant to do. A chorus is meant to give you lots of intensity, whereas the the Dimension side, it's just subtle. In, it's obviously an effect that's turned on, but as I said before, it doesn't get in the way, doesn't sort of mess up my signal or the dynamic of what I'm trying to do. Um, and again, one of the things I like the most about this pedal is the simplicity of it. It's really easy, and it's got stereo ins and outs as well. So, yeah, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, at the moment, I don't actually have any retail information because I've shot this video pre-release before I've got any of that information. Uh, but I would imagine it's a similar sort of price to some of the other Wazacraft pedals uh, that Boss have released. So I'll put links in the description box below. You can check those out. Let me know what you think in the comments section. Thanks to Boss for sending this across. And thank you all for watching. I've been Rabir and I'll see you all very soon.